So five three minute rounds, full Muay Thai rules. This is going to be for the title belt, World Muay Thai Council. Championship of the world. Five threes, like I said, this match is made okay, at, I think it's 62 kilograms. And as I said, don't blink. This is going to be interesting. Both fighters know what each other have got, Jeff, because it went the distance. They've, done, they've fought each other for 15 minutes. They know what they've got. They know what they're good at. Right? And obviously they know what it takes to win. And Numfon obviously capitalised on that last time. Like I said, it was basically what I heard through the grapevine. That, that, you know, that Liam just had that little bit more. But the tie just resorted to a big kick and thought that was enough to win the fight. Which did actually win the fight. And when Liam brought a little bit more to the table by all accounts. Well, Numfon's like very rangy straight away. That let me leave that front kick. So he's already pushed Liam back once. And you can tell he's using like a bit of a target finder. Looks very, uh, very sharp with his left leg at the moment. Let's take the time off there for the Krang Lang, which come undone, which obviously they won't allow that because with the tassels, if it comes down the arm, it can go in the face and you know go in the eye. So safety there, fair, point, fair play. You may be wondering what the armbands are. I mean, in Thai boxing or Thailand, they use them there. It's, it's, presented from the Thai master to the student to give them good luck. It's an amulet, like we'd have a good luck charm here. Uh, in this country, we also use it as gradings. I know they don't have gradings in Thailand, but we do, and you know, those people want to use it. Very much similar to a belt system. And that solid low kick from Liam, it just bounced off the fire also. <laughs> Both fighters trade, oh, and a beautiful teak bar. Front kick to the face there from Numfon. Very long with his kicks, isn't he? Very rangy. Tall, Very is tall, isn't it? Tall and you know, and he's not. You can't even say he's skinny. He's just lean, isn't he? But, you know, ties. You think ties would be small, but not. <laughs> you know, Liam's probably you know your average. You know, it's probably you know, in that weight division, he's probably the normal height, the regular height, probably about five six. Tyler is probably standing at a good five eight. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you're right. Five nine, five ten, possibly. But yeah. Um, He's very rangy, isn't he? So, right. Keeps varying the target with his front kick as well. He's kicking the thigh, the body, the head. Yeah, accurate with that front kick, isn't he? Yeah, I think that seems to be his favourite weapon. We're going, you know, like I said, I've not, I've not had the pleasure to see the tie. I've only again heard, you know, um, Liam, like I said, I've probably watched him fight a dozen times, right from his, you know, his early days, first and second fight, right up to now. So, I've, you know, I've had the pleasure of witnessing this young man so many times. The tie obviously will come, you know, to this arena with, uh, you know, well, <laughs> a world title about which he's wearing, I was wearing. So we're not seeing much, too much in that first round. It's a traditional tie start, that one, Jeff, wasn't it? And that's what we come to expect sometimes from yeah, tie yeah, fights. No, I mean, it was just a backfired admission. They just revisited each other in the first round. You now he was finding his range with his front kick. Liam was sort of pressing the ball, letting him know that he's going to be there. Like, um, I don't think anyone got the other hand because there's nothing really happened in the first round which should be an outrage. The only thing I will say is the Nam Pop made a quite quick for the start. He, he set the score out of the range of the kicks. He normally in the face and the one that had the left and the other kicks. It happens and happens to be the entire close people down. I was hoping it would happen. I really would have gotten it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Head and, head and heart for, for Ricky and then obviously got feeling on uh, Mayweather. Uh, but I would, I, I, take, I mean, I'm not a betting man, but I, put, I would put a, I would put, a, you know, a quid or so. <laughs> I, I put, a, I put a tenner on, 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 on Mr. Uh, Hitman. But anyway, it's not about, uh, it's not about the Hitman in boxing. It's about the Hitman in Thai boxing, and he's just been hitting the nuts. Okay, uh, rub them, don't count them. Quite clever movements there from that man. Left leg inside, left leg high kick, the high kick just over his skin across. And he's in. He's in. Yeah. He, he, he was lucky to get his head back in time, but this fella is a kick twice for that man. Yeah, he's going for that left leg, isn't he, all the time? I mean, Liam, I'm sure he knows about it. He's fought him already, he's been well aware of it. 
Richard Smith will have done a good, uh, a good thing with him in the gym. He'll have turned him for this now to how to get around that left leg. And you know, well, you've seen there, he's trying to take it out, isn't he? You know, and I know, take a, take a person's leg out. We saw that in the previous Thailand England encounter with Andy Housen. Take a man's legs, you take a man's heart. You know, you, it's gone, isn't it? You know, oh, I'll tell you what, the sound, in it, you hear that sound of the kick and the punch from Liam Doyle. He hits with authority, doesn't he? But I think the order of the day to me, and then that's the game plan I would probably have done with my fight. I would have said, right, take away the best, the man's best weapon, which oh, is yeah, the left yeah, leg, yeah, disarm, smash it, disarm it. Yeah, it's a good tactic. Look at, anyway, you can obviously see there, he's changed stance. He's gone to southpaw and gone for his switching stance, which means he knows that Liam can bind, and he doesn't, he doesn't, he wants to protect that leg. That's why he's pulling it to the back, switching from orthodox to to, uh, to southpaw. There you go. Yeah, and I think that is going to be the order of the day for Liam. Bread and butter techniques, I call it. You know, box and low kick, box and low. It does work no matter what people say. You know, people say it's old school. Hey, <laughs> we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for old school. Yeah. I say enough on changing that leg back. That tells me something. I'm watching that. I'm trying to switch to a right leg now to show that Liam he can use both. Beautiful body shot. Remember, we've seen Andy Owson take his tie opponent out with that. And I can't believe that the ties stand there taking them low kicks. That's not that's not good for him. Uh, that's his weapon. His his leg showed sign of well some swell on the ties left leg. I'm saying if you to see a swelling on it, I mean obviously the ties are, you know they got they got quite bronze skin, so to see a marking on them, it shows it has been marked. Because they're very white like us guys, you know, you, you we mark up easily, don't we? But it doesn't mean we're hurt. On a you know on a dark skin uh, leg, you know it's working. Look, are you point yeah, you're pointing at that out. An interesting second round, Jeff. I mean first round obviously, no score mate, it's a ten ten without without shadow without. There's nothing really too much to give away there. Um, second round, Jeff. Still very much even, okay, hot as all the and some strong exchanges. Uh, but that part still looked the most accurate and, uh, and very dangerous with those long legs of it. But they are strong when he did the mode. I wouldn't like to split them at this stage. It's still any man's fight for me. And obviously now we're going into the real war territory. First two rounds out of the way now. It's too badly to get it on. Well, you've heard it from Jeff. These two lads need to get it on, and I think this is where it will begin. And he's absolutely right. And anybody knows about Muay Thai and Thai boxing, you'll know that the first round, when you get anything like this, and there's a specimens a lot at stake, you don't go rushing in there and throw caution to the wind. Round three. Quite clearly see Mark to his leg there, though, can't you? Yes. Yeah, and he switched now to right to so far. Left kick again, yeah. on Liam. So he's trying to bring that leg to the back to get away from Liam's low kick. Look, and it is, it's at the back. It'll make it harder for Liam to, to get that leg unless he moves to his right. You can hear Richard Smith shouting left up, so he's probably going for that left up right low. So you can see the numph on there changing guards. Watch, watch his head, watch his head. Then. Yeah, he's he's the head forehead to the forehead, isn't yeah. it? Good knee from numph on. Nice turn, a beautiful turn and punch from Liam. Beautiful technique. Sonic he is, he's got the head right in there, hasn't he? So long that man pond though, isn't he? Yes, isn't he? He yeah. really makes those knees come from right outside and very sharp. Oh. Liam's thrown his gum shield out, and I don't know if that's in contempt for the tie. I was like, just saying, I don't need that. Yeah. So I would whether it's saying to the saying to the tie, look, I don't even need a gum shield. But at this moment in time, I think Liam Liam's can lose his composure a bit here. Yeah, got a little bit ragged there, aren't he? The tie's nodding his head and doing the tie thing, and Liam's got a little bit ragged. Um, McCobb because you know he lost the last the, the, the first encounter and he wants it bad luck. You can hear the authority in his kicks. You know, he's saying, come on, I want this world title back. A beautiful time low kick. Yeah, very well. Excellent. Done, very well. Yeah. Strong as well. Yeah, good score. 
That's what Liam Watson needs, and he's still going for both legs, even though he's stood at the back like that. Put the, back, the leg at the back, I mean. So Liam's he's going to work that nice body nice punch. Nice body shot yeah. there. Ty replies with his own backhand, left cross. And a good body kick from Liam. Nice score again. Oh, this is a fight now. You said it. Round three would come alive, and it was a good prediction, Jeff. Uh, nice body kick. A beautiful take down. Ty straight back to his feet faster than he went down. I, I think Liam's beginning to take control yeah, no, of this now. We, we noticed a little jitter, didn't we? Yeah. But he's got it back, hasn't he? You know, he lost his composure, but only briefly, and he's got it back. And then that'll lose it. He'll boost his confidence with those two kicks. Oh, two, yeah, he's dropped him twice. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. He's making the tie off a bit clumsy a couple yeah. of times now. He's turned it around and just in a yeah. minute. Oh, and a beautiful eye kick there. Yeah, no, he's trying to show yeah. both yeah. big yeah. There it. again. He's come to impress. He's had him up against the ropes. He's dropped him three times in this position. It's happening now. It's working. It's working for him. And his legs are looking sore. He's, he's got him up against the ropes and right on the end of the round. And Liam punches the sky. The tie punches the sky. But to me, no way. The tie can raise two hands at that, on that round. That's a clear blue corner. Liam Harrison yeah, round. Definitely, definitely. That's got to be a 10 9. It's got to be a 10 9. I could even, I mean, the judging scoring, you know, a big round for me at 10 out. Probably not a 10 out, probably not, but it, it's, it's definitely a 10 You can underline a 10 out. Yeah, and you've got to hear that say that the first two are in. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. In that my books puts me a good to head. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've got to say, I'm getting excited. I was excited prior to this fight. I kept my composure at the start. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> Which means I'm enjoying myself, Jeff. And I'm just so delighted to be sat here ringside on this absolutely amazing, great, supreme World Muay Thai Championships here at the Devere White Reebok Suite. Uh, at the Devere White, sorry, Premier Suite in Bolton, Master Scan Promotion. Jeff, it's been an absolute pleasure sat here commentating with you tonight. I've had an amazing night. I've been entertained with an absolutely amazing performance of fighters, demonstrations. And I think we're hopefully we're going to go out on an even better high than so we've, we've, had, we've had such a good time today here commentating and witnessing these fights. Um, what a way to go out to see Liam Harrison win the world title. You know, it's this now, the fourth round in Thailand. This is the biggest round in the, in the stadium, but we're not in Thailand. We're in Sunny Bolton by the sea. Not much sand and not much sea, but definitely the action here at ringside with me, uh, Sandy Holt and Jeff Bullock. He, he waited for that then, Liam. He, he went for the low kick as he went for the high kick. It was well timed, just the, didn't quite catch it. Well, sweat and water flew off four fighters. That went, that bell went. Um, you know, like a scene out of Rocky film, that Jeff. They just come straight to the middle like two, you know, like, like two bulls, didn't they? Uh, yeah, and you've seen the first and second elbow is thrown from Liam. That, that palm's looking a bit angry there. Yeah, that, yeah. he's got that, the ears that, pulling his face, that isn't he? That cocky look has sort of disappeared a little bit. He knows he's got a fight. And he keeps kicking the groin, that's three times, and Liam keeps knocking patting the groin as much to say, what are you going there for? You know, and the referee hasn't warned him yet, which I'm quite surprised about. Look at that Nampon's corner again, screaming at him. Yeah, they're frustrated, aren't they? Look at Bad Company, relax, just shouting out the odd thing. Yeah, he's obviously, I mean, you know and I know, if the corner's quiet, you're doing it right. Oh, and he's rocked him in that left yeah, hook. Definitely. That was beautiful, it was a peach. He's got it, he's wobbling. His legs are wobble, look. Yeah, that went right down to his ankles, but he's not and worried. Again. Yeah. And again. The tight corner and it completely stressed the yeah. And rightfully so, rightfully so. I knew Liam was going to be up for this fight. And I hope he doesn't make any mistakes. Liam needs to keep his concentration. He's going to have to defend his balls yeah. like the rest of his body. Yeah, yeah. He's this trying to try Yeah, he's trying to, yeah, he is. He needs to do a cross block thing. Right. That left hook again, but the tie drops his hands and just says no. <laughs> wow. Again, he's trying, he's trying yeah, to psychological, right. yeah, absolutely. Then here we go. There he goes again. Absolute brilliant. Yeah. And the tie saying, "What? What do you mean?" He goes, "Well, I'll tell you what he means. Again, you've just been put on your backside, yeah, you've mate." Been jumped again. Yeah. Got straight punches from the tie. Liam acknowledges it, but comes straight back. Adds to drive away like a true champion there, Harrison. Absolutely awesome. Oh, oh, and a left hook, and he's took him. Oh, yeah, and he's wobbled him. He's, he's got him all wobbled. 
That is an absolute picture. Whoa. And that deserved an 8K, if not an 18K. But the tie's saying I'm all right, but he's wobbling. Big punches, and it's going to be all over in this round. I really think it's going to be, it's over. It's over. The man in front of us here, the man in front of us is not out in the third round of the world title fight. What's been a world title fight waiting to happen. It had to happen. Jeff, I'm absolutely, I'm shedding top note. The crowd are on the feet. They were stood up. The men in terrain. That's going to be the fight of 2007. Well, wow. What did we say earlier? 25 years or so gone by and the Brits could now get in the ring with the ties and play the Macaron game. He said the gap's narrowing. Here's real evidence that what he said is true. The gap has narrowed. It's closed and we're now getting British lads knocking out Thai real champions. It's happened. We've got to face it now, Thailand. Thailand no longer trust They don't rule the roost, do they? They're still Premier League, but... They've been, un they've been unsettled. They've had stuff taken from them. What an awesome result. Absolutely the UK amazing. The UK here now, and the, the state records loud and clear, and they couldn't have stated it any clearer tonight. They never got, like, sucked into any of the showboat, and they never got sucked into any of the psychology. They stuck to their own game plan. We're in the past times, and not trying to disheartening. Westerners were dropping their hands, pretending they're our hate, and everything. Never once fooled these lads. And it's the Thai corner have just sat there in absolute disbelief. Do we, do, do we get really animated and excited before this happened? You could tell that it was coming. And they were trying to get onto Nam Ponte Race's game plan. And quite clearly, he couldn't, but Liam Addison could. And, and he just ran away with the contest. That was an awesome result, an absolutely awesome result. Well, you said it all there, Jeff. And again, I'll just, you know, close by saying we're just going to go and get an interview with Liam in a second. But the MC will say it all now. In the blue corner, from the bear 